Hi, I'm Ryan with Hatching Time, and I'm going to show you how to build a two-layer, 15-inch chicken cage today. So first we're going to start by building one layer. As you can see here, you have your four outside pieces, your front wall, your top piece, your back wall, your bottom egg roller, and then the three doors you're going to put onto the front wall. So first we're going to build one section at a time. So as you can see here, you're going to be lining up the arrows. So you see the front door and the top piece, the arrows are going to line up here. And then if you come back to the back wall, you'll see the same thing. These arrows will line up. And that's how you know you're doing it right. So to get started, we're going to attach the front wall to the top piece. So you can see here, it's lifted like so. And then you want to put these at an angle. They're butterfly locks. So you put it at the right angle and then you apply some pressure. And the units will snap right in. Again, same way, you're going to put the back arrows facing each other and put it at the right angle and press in. And then you're going to do the same thing for the bottom. Sometimes flipping it over is easier to get it at a better angle. But you're going to do the same thing at an angle, snapping the pieces together. Then you want to make sure these holes go into the pegs, like so. And then you're going to put the front door on. So you're going to put the top part in right here, tilt it back, and then make sure you hold it here while you tilt the front forward so the door snaps into place. And now you're going to build two more identical sections just like you built this one. All right, now you have three sections built. And what you're going to make sure is that all the pegs are opposite of each other. So this is how the whole system is going to interlock. You can see that the pegs are going to be every other along the whole perimeter of the unit. And that'll mean that you built it correctly. They should all be built the same exact way. So next, we're going to attach all the sections together. So for this, we recommend the mallet and your four walls. So we recommend doing this on the ground so you don't break any pegs. But you're going to start with one on its side and then go around and just securing the pegs into the holes. You want to do this very gently at first and apply more pressure as you go. So you take the mallet and go around the perimeter. Now you do the same thing again. around the perimeter. Again, grab your mallet. And then we're going to do it one last time. to go gentle around this door. Next, you're going to flip this one over. Attach this side. Again, make sure all the pegs are aligned. Then use your mallet and now we're going to interlock the other pieces. 
So you flip that over, and then you go ahead and place this one on top, push it into place, make sure all the pegs are lined up, and same thing with the mallet. It helps to apply a little pressure in the middle to make sure the sides don't come up. And then you put on your last piece. Again, a little pressure. And then come in with your mallet again. Okay, next we're going to build the side struts. So you can see you have four side struts here eight mollies, eight screws, four aluminum rods, and then your vice grips, the grip, and your power drill. So you can use either of these in this step. So you can see here that this is the case you're going to be inserting them into. So they're going to be going into these holes. So one is longer and one is shorter. So as you can see on the side strut, there's holes here. So you're going to be putting them into different holes when we screw in the rods. So to get started, we're going to take one aluminum rod, and then you place it on the front hole. You grab a molly. You put the molly through. Grab your screw your power drill, and then screw it in. Now some people like to use a grip here, makes it easier on your hand, or you can use a vice grip and make sure that the vice grip has rubber on it so you do not strip the aluminum. So now that you have one in, you're going to come and do the other side. So for this you can pick the top or the bottom, it does not matter for this one, but again, you put the molly and then the screw in, and you hold onto the rod until it's secure. And then you're going to build one more in the opposite hole this time. So again, you're going to start from the top peg, put the molly through, like so. The aluminum rod will slide over the molly. You take your screw and you do the same thing. Now you want to make sure this is very tight. Now again, you come along to your back. Now you come in and put it on the other hole. Again, put the molly in, get your screw. And then for this one, I'm going to use the grip down here. It just gives you a little bit more support. And then next, you're going to insert these into the cage. So you can see this is the one that's further out, and that'll be going onto the front wall. And you'll be putting the other one that you made along the back here. Now the trick to this is sliding them into the holes as you go down. There will be holes on this side and the other side. So you have to put your fingers along the inside of the cage just to jimmy it around. Everything will slide into place. You come around and do the same thing to the front. Again, making sure it goes through all the proper holes. You want to make sure it goes through the whole way. And you'll know because when you turn the cage over, the aluminum rod should be sticking out a little bit from the sidewall. That'll mean that the cage is very tight and secure. If it's out past that, make sure you squeeze the cage a little bit more. 
Now, we're going to add the side struts onto the other side. Now here's where the vice grip comes in handy. So you can use a vice grip to lock onto these rods, and then you can also use it on the inside here. So again, we're going to do the same thing with the mollies as we did to the other side. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, placing the molly into the side strut. And then we're going to grab our screw again. And then you can use the grip along the outside here, just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing along the back here. So you can put it around the other side. I'm just going to put it in like this, just enough so that we're touching the rod so that it does not move. Again, we we'll use your power drill. And then repeat the same steps on the other side. Next, we're going to install the water system. So you can see here, you have your white PVC piping with your nipples and then the three red drinker cups. And for this step, we recommend a flathead screwdriver and hot water to get the drinker cups around the PVC piping. So to start, we're gonna slide the PVC piping into the right side of the cage. And that'll slide all the way through. Now we're gonna install the drinker cups onto the back PVC piping. So this is where the hot water comes in handy. So simply submerge it, the part that's gonna go around the PVC piping for a few seconds to heat up the plastic. And this will make it a lot easier to get around the PVC piping. So a few more seconds, and then we're gonna come in the cage with it. So you're gonna wrap it around the back. And this is where the flathead screwdriver comes in handy. To go underneath the lip, and you're gonna push it into the top of the drinker. You will hear it snap in. So now for the middle, sometimes it's easier to put it on the ground so you have more leverage. So again, we're going to heat up the plastic. Then you're going to come in the same way. And you're simply going to push the plastic. around like that. Now on to our last section. Again, make sure you heat up the plastic, otherwise it will be very difficult to get the drinker cup around the PVC piping. Again, make sure it goes around. Make sure you slide right underneath. And there you go. You wanna make sure it's aligned over the drinker. Next, we're going to install the wheels. So you can see here, there's going to be holes for the wheels. Simply twist them on. Now you can come in here with a wrench to make them even tighter. We recommend you do so. Now you want to put the ones with the locks onto the front. So it's preference at this point, we recommend putting them on the front in case you're moving it. It's a lot easier. So now that we have this on the ground, you want to put your locking wheels in the front. You then take the layer you just built. Slide it in to the legs. Now you don't want to push too hard down on the wheels. Next, we're going to install the feeder tray. So you can see here there's arrows on this green part. 
And you're going to face them towards the feeder. Now the green part will slide in and just snap. And you can see when you come to the end, it'll fit in snug. And then we're going to install the feeder onto the layer. You add your manure tray. Now you have two hoses and you're going to cut one to a length of three inches. So you can see here I already pre-cut it, but this is what you would use your utility knife for. So now that you have a cut, you can take the longer piece and come over and install it on the right side. Now we're going to put the water stopper on at the end. This is going to stop any water from coming out the end of the hose. And if you ever want to remove the water from the system, you simply undo this and then you can drain the system. Now we're going to install the filter onto the water tank. So you can see here, there's one hole. You're going to twist it on and make sure that the filter is facing down. Now we're going to add one more layer. Again, make sure not to push too hard down onto the casters. You're going to install the black top frame. Next, we're going to take our three inch piece that we cut, put it onto the water tank. We're simply going to add that to the connector here. Now we're going to install the hosing going down. Add the manure tray. And there you have it, a two layer, 15 inch chicken cage.